this is my 2017 Jeep Renegade Desert Hawk. And you may have seen my video eh, about a year or two ago uh, that I did on it. It was completely stock. As you might be able to tell if you've seen that, it's a little bit different now. By a little bit, I mean a lot. Everything is different now. So um, in this video, I kind of want to just go over an overview. I'm not going to fully review it again uh, because I did that video. This is going to be much higher quality. However, just so you know, more of a modifications review than overview. So let's dive right in. So first, we're going to start here in the front. So here is the Avid Wyoming Edition front bumper. It is solid steel, and it is winch capable. I do not have a winch in here. I just have to fairly done for decoration right now. Uh, I have a few uh, D-ring shackles from uh, Smittybilt, and never had to use any of the recovery gear on the front of this. Uh, I had used it before uh, with the stock tow hooks, just none of these. But these are uh, attached to the frame, and this is all frame mounted and everything. But uh, I like how it contours to the front of the vehicle. I think it, it looks really nice. Obviously, it exposes the tires down here a little bit more, so some more off-road capability. You're going to get a better approach angle. Uh, I like this bar. I don't know. Kind of a nice little bull bar. Uh, some people hit deer with these, and this protects it very well. Um, so as far as the installing it goes, it's not really that difficult. I think now that I've done one, it'd be a lot easier to do it again. I'd say one of the hardest parts really is cutting. Right here, you have to cut this. This is only this is a plastic piece, so if you do mess up, it's not a huge deal. This whole grill is only about $200 back from Mopar, but just keep that in mind if you're wanting to get a steel bumper for your Renegade. Just keep in mind, you do have to do some cutting, and it is quite a process. You'll need a lot of tools as well. So next up, I do have these uh, side markers there tinted so they're not like the usual orange I like them a lot better personally and uh, they have this really cool pattern when you turn them on this kind of uh, three strips of LEDs right there I really like how they look um, much better than stock and it fits with the whole black theme of this thing I have all everything's black accents on this so it really does fit well next here we have the also from Avid Essentials just like the bumper the Avid Essentials Desert Edition snorkel I really like the snorkel. It has a, a great, it, it's a cool air intake as well, so it gives it a great sound, a little bit extra performance. Um, I've actually seen some fuel economy improvements even, um, because the air definitely is substantially cooler. I can see on my Kenwood uh, head unit the temperature and everything, which I'll get to later on. But it's been a great snorkel. Increases, um, like I said, fuel economy, performance, and uh, water forwarding, and it just looks great as well, in my opinion. But as far as installing the snorkel goes, it is quite a bit of a process as well, as you do have to drill into the fender on this one with, uh, I think it was a four inch or so hole saw, maybe it's three or four, I forgot. I think it was a four inch hole saw. So that's, you know, a little bit nerve wracking to be drilling into the vehicle itself, but again, it's all worth it. Then you have to put a couple rivets in the A pillar here, but overall it's a very sturdy system and I really enjoy having it. Next up here, I have the BF Goodrich KO2s. I've had them for about, uh, 20,000 miles or so. I've really enjoyed them. Uh, they're great on and off-road. They've been uh, definitely put to the test many times off-road. Uh, these are in 225, 65, or 17, and they will fit, uh, from my knowledge, any Renegade completely stock. Then we're going to go into suspension here. Um, I have the TerraFlex 1.5 inch lift kit and here are the Eibach 1 inch lift springs. Uh, rides a little, uh, I mean, I'd say a little bit stiffer, but it does soak up bumps better. The dampening is, is much better. Uh, it gives this thing a much more aggressive look to it with the height and everything. But I definitely like these springs, and they're very, very annoying to install. As anyone knows that has compressed springs before, it is very scary. I would definitely get a shop to uh, install them. While we're on the topic of fender wells, uh, next up is my rock lights from 1UP Lighting. I'm oh, sorry, you had to focus there a little bit. There we go. Uh, anyway, from 1UP Lighting, uh, they are a great company from what I've seen. I really like their product uh, on the Rock X lights. Look very nice. They are app controlled as well, as you can see here. So, very quick to respond as well. But, yeah, I've really liked them. And if you use the code HAWK10, 1UP uh, Lighting, you get 10% off. Next up here is my Oxbeam 32 inch light bar mounted on my roof rack, which I'll get to in a minute. Very nice looking light bar. I ran the cable down right here in this rain gutter. It doesn't really impede any of the, the usage of the rain gutter itself. And I mounted the switch right down there, if you can see that. Sorry, my lens is a little bit dirty, but if you can see that here, turn on there. So it's very bright, it's uh, 
flood on the outsides and spot in the middle. And next up is my full roof rack system. I have crossbars from Brightline, so the arrow crossbars. I have three just because the wheel was uh, kind of bending the, the basket a little bit actually and I couldn't open my sunroof anymore, so I got an extra set. Then you see I have my spare tire up here, so it frees a lot of room in the, in the back. Got a trenching shovel from Razorback. Got an old hatchet back there. <laughs> And I have a high lift jack. I don't remember the exact uh, model number, but it is. It's been nice for uh, like changing a tire or something like that. Or, um, but, but I guess what I mean by that is I've been in the garage before, and the stock jack actually won't reach now because it's so tall, or so much taller than stock that is. So uh, I use HL on that, and that works fabulous. But it's better for trail uses and everything, and dirt and sand and whatnot. But yep, yeah, it also just looks good up there. So. And also the uh, the roof basket itself is the Tiger, T-Y-G-E-R, Tiger, heavy duty. And then these are actually black usually, but I just uh, red painted these with the glossy paint and got a couple layers of clear coat. Looks pretty good and it's pretty similar to the uh, the Renegade logo as you'll see right there. A little, I guess you'd call it what, Phillips head or whatever. <laughs> similar to a Phillips head, but if you go under the hood here, sorry, it's uh, a little bit muddy, <laughs> quite muddy actually, but uh, this is engine cover that I custom painted a couple years ago I think uh, but I like how it looks it's probably water spots are probably baked on at this point but you know it still looks nice anyway uh, here's the speaker for the PA system and I have all my wiring for um, you know light bar PA and uh, stuff like that so it's a little bit of a mess right now I'm plan on making it a bit better but for now this is what it looks like Next up here, I have this uh, D-ring shackle in my uh, trailer hitch receiver, so it's in there. Good recovery point along with the OEM tow hook right there. Also got that on Amazon. Now onto the interior here. I have these footwell lights right here. I also got from Amazon. They look pretty cool. Then I have this uh, Kenwood DMX 906S. It is a great head unit. It's um, wireless CarPlay. So I really like how this works, very fast and everything. With this Metra dash adapter, so it sticks out a little bit further than the stock system, but I, I think it, it, it looks fine, you know. Uh, and then also, of course I have the My Sky, and with this roof rack set up, I can still open the panels, which is awesome. Uh, I can take off the front one, but I have to like lift the front of the roof rack, so I don't recommend doing that, but you can still open it, which is great. So down here I have the PA100 from Speed Tech Lights. It has two horns and, of course, speaker, so I can talk on it like this, right? So, I've liked having this PA a lot. It's just a lot of fun to mess around with. Like I said earlier, with the spare tire on the top, I have tons of storage down here in the spare tire. And don't worry about this. The cover's off right now just because I'm tuning the subwoofer and it hits this cover right here. So, that's the only reason that's off. So, next up, I do want to display my exhaust system. It is completely custom, uh, custom tip and everything. It's done by the incredible Pronto Muffler here in Plano, Texas. And here's a sound clip for you. So one big misconception that I hear is this is not capable off-road. Okay, it's never going to be a Wrangler, that's true. But for what it is, I'd say it's pretty darn good. You see this angle? I mean, this is pretty insane. Well, that's it. That's my 2017 Jeep Renegade Desert Hawk. And I hope that you see now that these things can be modified, and when they are, they're pretty cool. Well, thank you, and I'll see you on the next one.